Hello, welcome to this presentation on solving simple inequalities. We're just going to work a few examples and what you'll find is this is actually pretty easy if you can solve equations. Remember, you know, when you're solving equ simple equations, you had something like, you know, x plus 2 is equal to 4. We subtracted 2 from both sides and we got x is equal to 2, right? So this is really the same thing. So let's look at our first example. You got k minus 20 is less than a negative 20. Well, we've got this k here. It was keeping k from being by itself is this negative 20. To make negative 20 zero, you add 20. Just bring down your inequality sign. Since we added 20 over here, we got to add 20 over here. So minus 20. Plus 20 is 0, so we're just left with the k. So we know k is less than 0. And by the way, k is a negative number. You'll see this a lot in your math career. Now it says graph the solution. So let's look at our inequality sign. There's no bar, so it's an open dot. And since k is negative, it's everything this direction, right? So just remember, you see that? It's an open dot. If you see your inequality with a line, it's a closed. It's just, you got to memorize it. I always think about it like maybe if you're, you know, if your hand is closed, you're holding on to a value. If your hand is open, it's not really holding on to anything. It can fly away, whatever. It's not a good analogy, but it works for me. But this, you've got to memorize. Memorize. Let's look at another example. Here we got, let's look at 3. So we know x plus 13 is less than or equal to negative 3. So we've got less than or equal to, so it's going to be a closed dot. Remember that. So now we're just going to solve for x. You know, isolate the variable. Get it by itself. Ask yourself, hey, what's keeping this x from being by itself? Well, it's a 13. Well, what number added to 13 gives you 0? Well, it's the opposite of 13, which is negative 13. So if we add a negative 13 over here, which is the same thing as subtracting, we got to subtract negative 13 over here. These become 0. Let's bring down our less than or equal to negative 16, right? So it's going to be a closed dot, and we know that negative 16 is, it could be x, or it could be smaller or less than, so we're going to shade in all of this, so x is negative 16, x is, could be negative 21, it could be any of those about values. Let's do, let's do number 5. You've got number 5 here. Negative 4 is bigger than negative 5 plus r, right? And we know this alligator is going to eat this negative 4. So let's figure out what r is. Well, we know if you add a negative 5 to r, it's going to be less than 4, right? So let's um, add 5 over here. So we're just left with this r. If we add 5 over here, we got to add 5 over here. Negative 5. I'm sorry, negative 4 plus 5 is a positive 1. I wrote, wrote down my inequality, right? Always double check that. So, my n values is 1. And see, 1 is bigger than r, so it's got to be... I'm sorry, I said that wrong, didn't I? 1... Ah, I keep wanting to say it backwards. We know that r is smaller than 1, right? So we're going to put all of these values over here, right? Because, you know, if you remember from like third grade or whatever, this is like an alligator eating things. So the alligator always wants to eat the bigger number. There we go. That's the alligator. So if you get, you know, trumped up like I just did, just, just remember that. Looks like we've got time for just one more example. So, I don't, you know, they all look about the same, don't they? Let's do 11 because we got a negative 11. 
is less than x minus 1. I'm just going to solve for x. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. Negative 11 plus 1 is a negative 10. And what we know about x, we know x is going to be bigger than negative 10, so we're going to shade in to the right. And then here, we just so so that's it. It's just like solving equations. Remember, that's a closed dot, open dot. Memorize that. This worksheet. If you're on YouTube, if you go to the link, you can get a copy of this worksheet. There's about 20 problems to practice, and good luck. Have fun.